up guys today we have a german tool haul this should be from hand tools from germany let's get inside and see what we have here Ooh, very nice start off with uh has that box liking it so far let's see what we got here oh check that out super nice i think these are getting more rare this is a full metal box Ooh, that's spring loaded right there very well hidden in there there's a full spring right in there if you could see it pretty cool I'm on a storage kick, so uh, these nice boxes are going to come in handy. No other lettering on it. Let's take a measurement here real quick. The part number is, I believe, might be this no 2272KL. All right, so just double check. That is the part number right there. On the website enter that number and it should pop up quickly so whenever you want to find something google it first and when it shows up get the part number enter it into the hand tools from germany website and you should be able to find things a lot easier just a quick tip right there super love this uh old school stamping on the box right there and as we can see the powder coating is brilliant on this nice and smooth let's take a measurement it is eight and seven eighths long and looks like five inches on that measurement and this measurement we can measure one and seven eighths pretty cool just love that little spring-loaded uh, knob on there that's cool like it let's see if it matches the other box from another haul I had, this is the, yeah, it looks, looks a good, perfect match there. This is the um, 8801 hex key set. I did use the number seven, I think, no, the which is number six, I believe. Yeah, as you can see, the uh, titanium coating, whatever they call it, I forgot it's this coating that they have on it, is already starting to come off. But it is nice to have as a starter, make it last a little longer, but most of all, a, a good determiner on your uh, upper toolbox drawer to see what uh, you have as a hex. This is different than the other ones, and you'll definitely notice these right away and make it easier to find if you're going to have it separate out of the foam into a uh, upper toolbox drawer. This is cool. Check out one of my uh, older videos to see this one. It has a nice kickstand on it and a nice tray while you're working on a car. And yeah, uh, the only other box I have that's similar to this is this uh, SK Tool box, and I did complete the set. Check that out. I uh, replaced a five millimeter recently and uh, had a 12 point in there and I got, replaced it with the six point and uh, definitely a nice full set. And I did run out of real estate in there because I just got the uh, bit driver this is the 800 701 this is the new bit driver the dt120 tooth and this is also a dt120 tooth quarter so i got the pair now so you can see this sticks out a lot so this is mainly going to be used for uh strength so same teeth very nice this is the 80 800 700 and this is the 800 701 beautiful set here I'm gonna have to figure something else out later, but this quarter inch drive set, so bit would have to be something else anyway. So yeah, I've got a little wobbly here that doesn't have the knurling and all these other sizes with the knurling, with a little breaker bar, all the way up to 13. So four to 13, I believe, yeah, four to 13. Fits nicely, nice little green box. My dad had this and uh, figured I would uh, soup it up a little bit and turn it into an S and K. Just would need a sticker or something later on and uh, complete all the way. It's got quite some weight to it for its size. <laughs> and this one is quite heavy already. Um, it is more beefier than that box and uh, definitely has a nice 
nice coating on it. Would love to uh, add something nice as Hazette to it. And uh, well, actually, yeah, let's uh, real quick, let me get back to you on what would look nice in here. Maybe a set like this in there. <laughs> that would look nice. Boom, matches very nicely. This is the new Hyper Tooth uh, 863 HP, Hyper Fine Teeth. A little tight, but uh, definitely a nice little ratchet to have. Love it. Let's put that off to the side. Nice little storage unit automatically locks as you close it. Love it. Next up here we have, it's like another addition to my storage here. Check this out. We have a Knipex sustainer T-lock mini sustainer. There's your part number right there, the 97900LE. Enter that in and you should be able to find this. And sounds like we have something in there. But first, let's look at the outside here. Very nice uh, shape here. It interlocks with each other with the angle in here. Enters right in there, I believe. And it sets on here. So that's how they stack with each other. It is uh, Tanos, made by Tanos, Germany. And um, yeah, before we get inside, let me show you something else I recently grabbed. We have the Micro. <laughs> I picked these up at uh, Tool Nut. Tool Nut has a uh, Festool little site as well, but uh, you can also get them on the Tool Nut site. These are cool. They uh, also have a little handle here. So that's the first thing I noticed. There's no handle on this one, but this one has a little handle. Tiny little thing there. <laughs> Swings out, fully functional and everything. You can put what you like in there. And I'll demonstrate a little bit better here that uh, they have the little hook there. Same label here. Uh, I believe that's your part number right there. 892. Just enter a uh, mini sustainer three to the power of three or just put sustainer three in the tool nut website and these should pop up and yeah they just interlock with each other on the back side so as you can see the interlock isn't that cool <laughs> you can have fun all day <laughs> with these i also have a, a festool one actually let me just bust it out right now real quick i'll show you the festool one as well this one is cool this one I bought at my uh, local hardware store, Sack Fasteners. Also has a little swing out uh, deal there in blue, the Festool green, and a uh, swing out little handle there too. <laughs> nice, nice detail on all these, super detail. So these are the Tanos, this is the Festool, Tanos here. And these do not interlatch with each other, but these still do and uh, has a uh, proprietary Festool quick bit right here. So these will only work on the Festool uh, drills and we have the nice bits here. These are super nice. As you can see, Festool logo on it. And uh, looks like Posi drive, up to three on the regular drive, and one flathead, Robertson, and a little blow molded tray that fits nicely in there. Super cool. On with the show with the Knipex. Super nice logo right there. Let's flip her on open. Open up in here. It has little detent knobs. That's what's cool about the top end. There's detent knobs. And what do we have here? <laughs> he did throw it in. I was looking around for a drum roll. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. We have a Knipex bottle opener. This is a newer design. I have the older one with a fatter handle on it, and uh, they just released the newer design here. I will uh, definitely showcase this on a Friday. Hopefully, uh, we'll get a nicer shot here, and I'll, I'll put the older one right next to it and show what the difference is. So, this is uh, what the apprentices do at uh, Knipex, they start them off with a 
small little um, project. And uh, each time they post it up on their Knipex fan page, they have to put Knipex fan shop or Knipex fan page and you'll land on that page and you'll see this. Unfortunately, they only sell to German Germany ad, German addresses. So um, I uh, contacted uh, hand tools from Germany and uh, they said they can hook me up with this and definitely nice to have. I believe there's no part number on this one. Yeah, no part number anywhere. It's on their fans page if you could, if it's still there. Um, yeah, for sale. They only do uh, like little runs here and there. So you gotta catch, you gotta keep an eye on it and keep looking on there and uh, checking to see what's their next run. So I got two runs now of their bottle openers, which is very nice. Here's the part number here, 240133. Um, but uh, yeah, not 100% for sure that that's it. But it does say flash and offner, which is bottle opener in Germany on the other side. Pretty cool. And uh, on with the uh, storage unit here. Looks like this comes out. Oh, that's a very nice double molding right there. Looks like they're glued together. So this is one piece. Glued on the bottom of this tray. That's super nice. Put what you want on there. Oops, this is the tactical keychains I opened up this box with. That fits nicely in there. Very sturdy. This is not like half bold, blow molded the uh, tray here. This is full full blown here. And then we have the bottom piece here. This is one piece, so this is gonna be a little bit more flimsy. But that is cool. Both of them fit right on top of each other right here. Let's see if we can reverse it. Can we reverse it? Looks like we cannot, so it's only gonna fit this direction here. Let me pan out the camera and take some measurements. All right, let's get the measurement here. It is nine and, all right, 10 and three eighths. Yeah, it looks like 10 and three eighths. And we have six and three quarters. And right here we have, with the legs, will be, looks like, three inches, almost three inches, yep. And there's a spot for a label here, spot there and there for a label. Sometimes they come pre-labeled with uh, whatever the item that you buy in with these type of sustainers. We have a nice foam, egg crepe foam right here. Looks like the gluing is coming off right here. It's just double-sided tape, it looks like. That needs to be restuck there. Looks like it's because of this right here. The inside measurements have, so the walls have, as you can see, the walls go in. So at the minimum, something rectangular would have to be back here at nine and a quarter. Just a little bit over nine and a quarter. Kind of the same here. And the smallest width here is six inches. So keep that in mind. These little trays will be, yeah, basically nine and a half. And then same thing, this one stacks up. Very cool. Here is a 10 inch Cobra. Will it fit? Yes, it does perfectly. So you can put your Cobras back here and your electrical supplies right here. Very nice. I'm liking this. Pretty cool. So this is the sustainer T-Lock Mini, and this should be the micro. Oh, let me measure that one real quick. This one is uh, four and an eight, and two and five eighths. And the height will be just a little bit over one and a quarter on these. Super cool. I believe these will lock into the larger ones. Uh, don't get me on that 100%, but I will get a larger one hopefully soon and uh we'll get the whole family of this thing <laughs> pretty cool um and that's it i don't want to make this video too long um uh, definitely a nice haul this will make a nice bottle opener friday and uh yes thank you for watching guys and on to the next